Hey you guys, so I just got home from Trader Joe's and Kohl's and thought I would show you what I got for the week. Um, you guys know the drill. If you've been here before, I get a lot of stuff from Trader Joe's because I'm bougie, I guess, some people say. But um, I find stuff that I like. I find stuff that's Weight Watcher friendly that I can use. And uh, it works, so why not? So the first thing I got is this buttermilk protein pancake mix. I like this better than Kodiak. Um, I use it to make the blueberry donuts that I made, the cake donuts that I made, I use it. I also use it to just make pancakes with. Anything that calls for Kodiak mix, I use this in it. I got some organic silver dollar pancakes. I thought these would be good for Valentine's morning. I'm working Valentine's Day because it is the busiest day of the year at my work. And I want to have a little something something before I uh, start the day. So I got these to go with some turkey sausage. I picked up some more of these um, raw Argentinian red shrimp. I love the fact of how big they are. Um, in fact, half the time I cut them in half depending on what I'm using uh, them in. But if I want to have just big pieces of shrimp, I like that option. And it's a decent price. I got these um, orange flavored dried cranberries. I'm going to be doing a video coming up you guys need to watch because if you're a Starbucks lover, you're going to love the dupe for the Cranberry Bliss Bar as well as the Lemon Pound Cake. So I got these for the Bliss Bar. I got some organic reduced sugar wild blueberry preserves. I love them, so why not? The next thing I got is this Speculous Cookie Butter. Um, it is a, it's got crushed Belgian biscuits in it and it is a holiday spice spread type of a situation. Um, it's two tablespoons for 170 calories, probably about five points. I probably will only use one tablespoon at a time, um, but I did get those crumpets last week and I thought this might be good on those because I have a few of those left. The next thing I got is this five layer dip. It is uh, two tablespoons, it's 50 calories, so it's probably about one or two points a serving, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm gonna look up the point values on it. Um, but I have extra chips that I wanted to use this with and thought it would be really good. Uh, I got some mini Bay Bells. I haven't had these in a long time. These are the light Bay Bells. Uh, they are a type of cheese. It's a semi-soft cheese. So I thought those might be nice to snack on. Uh, they didn't have the taco blend of the cheese, but they did have this light shredded three cheese blend. It's got Monterey Jack, mozzarella, and cheddar cheese. So I got that to try this week. got me some Brussels sprouts. I'm going to roast these and eat them throughout the week. Uh, I just put a little bit of olive oil on them, maybe some onion salt, um, and a little bit of salt and pepper, and I absolutely love these. I love them when they get crispy and caramelized on the bottom. If you haven't tried them, and it, it, if you like green cabbage, you'll like Brussels sprouts because it's the same thing. It's just like a little mini cabbage, uh, but they are really good for you, and they are delicious. Um, I got some Meyer lemons. These are going to be for that lemon pound cake that's going to be for that Starbucks dupe video. I'm, I'm going to be doing two desserts as well as doing um, a dupe of one of the drinks. And then in bag number two, we have a usual culprit. Uh, the tortilla chips, I get these every time I go. Uh, these are seasoned with sea salt and lime, and they are absolutely delicious. I believe they're four points of serving on all plans. I told you guys last week the butter almond thins were new and I was going to try them out and see how I liked them. I liked them so much I picked up a box for myself and a box for my friend Sean. So I'll be giving those to him later this week. We have another tortilla chip. I've shown these before on my channel. These are the trail mix crackers. If you can find these, Get yourself a bag. I don't think you would be disappointed. Um, we love them. Um, I've bought them several times before. They didn't have them last week or I would have bought them last week too. Uh, but I bought three bags because that's all there was. I bought some more of the mini cucumbers because I like these. Um, I cut these up in the morning for breakfast. So I like having the little ones. And then last but not least, I got me some more of these, I guess they're mandarin oranges. I call them tangerines, but I guess they're mandarin oranges. 
uh, we were running out and so I bought some more. And that is it from Trader Joe's. So let me get my Kohl's stuff ready and I'll show you. There's not a lot, but we can still show you. Okay, from Kohl's, like I said, I didn't get a lot, but the things that I did get is things that I really needed. Um, I had a couple of Amazon returns that I needed to do, and every time you do an Amazon return, you get a 25% off in-store purchase. So I figured, why not? I had some Kohl's bucks, had the 25% off, so I went ahead and got these. I needed new silverware, um, and I, I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't buy two of these. They were on sale for $45, and then it was 25% off at, on top of that. So these are normally, what are they? Normally $99, uh, and they were 40, 45 I think. I think it was $45, and then I got 25% off. So I wish I would have bought two of them just because I like having extra silverware, but um, I can deal with a set of eight. The next thing I got is something for my husband for Valentine's Day. I don't know if you've noticed in my videos uh, that we do have quite a few Baby Yoda things because we are Baby Yoda fans. So I found this little Star Wars throw with Baby Yoda all over it. It is the cutest ever and I love it. And then the last two things that I got was I got two of these pistachio macaron candles. Um, they smell really delicious. I cannot wait to try one of these um, and see how they smell when they're lit. Uh, but yeah, they were $9.99 a piece and then 25% off of that. So I was like, score. Uh, yeah, and that's all I got. Now that I'm done with the Trader Joe's haul and the Kohl's haul for you, um, I do have some cooking um, inserts that I'm going to put in this video as well. Um, they are not from the same day. I tried to do some recording throughout the week so that it would be less on me instead of trying to do all of my recording on Saturday and then edit Saturday for Sunday's video and Tuesday's video. So I'm trying to get ahead of the game a little. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind that they, I'm not wearing the same clothes in it or whatnot. I'm sure you don't care about that since you are here to see the actual recipe being cooked. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that's why you're gonna see me with maybe four different outfits on during this video, who knows. Um, but I hope you enjoy and on to the cooking videos. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to make dinner. I'm doing Italian style meatball stew. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my, I pre-made my meatball mixture. It's just um, shallots, parmesan, breadcrumbs, and the ground chicken. And I'm gonna get this going in my pan because you're supposed to brown these before you put them in the Instapot. And I said to make them kind of small, so I'm gonna just make them about that size. get a plate ready here so that I can put the meatballs on there so I can get the rest of them in when it's time. Okay, and then while the um, meatballs are cooling down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my vegetables that are gonna go in. Um, I don't have carrots, so I'm just gonna use celery and some cauliflower that I need to use up. You can use pretty much any vegetables in here you want. And then you're gonna need um, a 28 can, 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, um, a five and a half can of tomato paste, which I don't have that I have. I use the tube stuff so that in case I don't need it all, um, so I'll have to weigh that out. And then two cups of carrots, three cups of potatoes. I don't have quite three cups, so I'm gonna use a little less. Um, and then two and um, two cups onion diced up and a package of onion soup mix. Bye. 
Okay, so we got everything over here to put into the Instapot. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, and I apologize this is too far away, my stove is still extremely hot, so uh, I'm just going to put in the meatballs. Get those in there. Then I'm going to open up the diced tomatoes. salt added diced tomatoes those added in there get it shaken down a little bit then I'm going to add in our vegetables and all of our herbs and the soup mix and the tomato paste and the meat bowl. Ooh. And then I'm going to add the entire container of this. Um, it called for three cups, but because there's so many more vegetables in there, I'm just going to use the whole thing. So I'll just pour that in. Put our lid on and we're gonna hit stew and we're gonna just let it do its thing and when it's all done dinner will be done